Christmas is fast approaching, and what would the season of mirth and merriment be without an opportunity to give thanks? I'm thankful for many things, a great employer. Suck underscore up an improving economy. A 2017 where we didn't have to sit through CNN specials with titles like Hillary Clinton, great president or underscore greatest underscore president. That's a lot to be thankful for in a year's time, especially if you're a conservative. If you're a liberal, well, perhaps this hasn't been the greatest year, but hopefully you've started feeling better since we last saw you bawling your eyes out inside the Javits Center as the election results rolled in. Anyway, there's a way to say thank you to the man whose election made a lot of what you're thankful for this year possible. The folks over at WND have started the Trump card campaign which allows you to thank our 45th president for whatever it is you're thankful for this year involving his presidency, or perhaps just life in general. Trending, Trump begins demolition of Michelle's proudest achievement, here are some of your choices to send to our nation's 45th commander-in-chief, I'm personally leaning towards the magnificent one, since pints have always struck my fancy. However, the thank you, President Trump, for the real hope and change. One also strikes my fancy, if just because it raises Barack Obama's blood pressure a few mhg. However, the card saying that they're praying for your continued success. May the Lord bless you and keep you seems to be the most popular, and I can't necessarily fault that one. In an interview on the Alex Jones show, hey, nobody's perfect. WND founder and CEO Joseph Farah explained the rationale behind the card campaign. I am even more thankful than I was then, in the 80s, when Ronald Reagan was around, Farah said during this week's interview. You know, for me, I thought we'd never see his likes again. What we're seeing right now is even more exciting. Trump is a man of action. He's a man of courage, he cannot be deterred, he doesn't care what people say about him. Related. Camera catches U.S. military raining down hellfire on terrorist leader, we have not seen anything like this in our lifetimes, Farah added. I mean, I was around for Reagan. In fact, Reagan was the guy, the personality, who took me from the far left to being a constitutional, limited government kind of guy. That's what Reagan did for me, but what Trump is doing in his first year, the accomplishments are greater, they're more stunning. I'm just amazed at how much he's doing. He's taken us completely off the fence. He's on a fence all the time. In fact, Trump's still on a fence when it comes to the war on Christmas. Just look at the White House's holiday card. Yes, the word Christmas is even in there. That's something we haven't seen in a full eight years. Yet another Christmas gift from the folks at 1600 Pennsylvania. If you want to send a card to Trump, the link is here. Remember, tis the season for MAGA. Please like and share on Facebook and Twitter with your thoughts on this. Are you planning to write a card to President Trump? Scroll down to comment below.